Health experts in the Philippines are aware of the Delta variant mutation called Delta Plus, recorded by the Union Health Ministry of India in three states. The Health Ministry identified three characteristics of the Delta Plus variant, increased transmissibility, stronger binding to receptors of lung cells, and potential reduction in monoclonal antibody response. India is among the nine countries where the Delta Plus variant has been detected. It's also detected in the United States, United Kingdom, Portugal, Switzerland, Japan, Poland, Nepal, China, and Russia. The Philippines has not yet recorded a Delta Plus case in the country. According to Dr. De La Paz, getting a jab against COVID-19 can help in the decline of cases and prevent any COVID-19 variant mutation in the Philippines. Ang isang pinaka-importanting mensahe po ay ang pagpapabakuna. Kasi anyway, dumadating na po yung mga vaccines. Kaya kailangan na tayong mag, uh, mag, uh, saya kasi marami ng bakunang parating. Uh, sana po marami sa ating mga kababayan ang magpabakuna. Meanwhile, the procurement of reagents for whole genome sequencing for the rest of the year was initiated by a grant of 180 million pesos by the DOH to the UP Philippine Genome Center last May 2021. After undergoing the government procurement process, the reagents shall arrive at the UP PGC this week. Uh, yes, I am confirming that uh, once the reagents have arrived, uh, 750 samples, at least 750 samples a week. Kung kinakailangan tayo ay may emergency run kasi may nakitang uh, you know, clustering of cases in an area, we can also do some small runs and have results faster. These three agents will allow the DOH, UPPGC, and UPNIH to sequence samples of COVID-19 cases regularly until the end of the year, ensuring that the government will have essential information in mitigating the spread of COVID-19. I, Miguel, UNTV News and Rescue, we serve the people, we give glory to God.